What's up table tennis nerds? Welcome back to the Limitless channel. This is row 2 1550 TTR week 16 and we're gonna have a second and third match of the STC Cup series here on the same day. And the first match here is against Andreas. I know him from before so I really did not want to lose against him. I was nervous I told you in the last in the first STC Cup match, which, which was yesterday, I wasn't nervous at all in, in all the games. And here I was nervous and it affected me big time. I made super many easy mistakes. My pushes went into the net a lot. My top spins, I didn't attack at all his serves. Um, which is a big mistake because I always train to attack long serves. I mentioned that before. Yeah, and um, I think for him it was a similar situation. He didn't want to lose this. And yeah, we, we put unnecessary pressure on our shoulders there. A lot of stiffness in the body going on. That's why, as you can see, again, um, I'm relatively flat footed, do not move well. And that's the result of, of being being nervous and having fear in the body and I know it I realize it and uh, still it's I don't know how to overcome that you could see I'm just missing the ball here this happened a lot this on this day and yeah, I'm too late and because this extra tension this this stress that you put on you in your system by being nervous this is just affecting everything yeah, my, my, my mindset goal is, is really, as I said in previous episodes, I want to play in matches just like I play in training. And that's my goal. And I know it's achievable. I know it from Jiu-Jitsu that, that I can do it. So it's just a matter of, of time. So it's 1-1 one, one in this game. As you can see here, I'm not killing the ball. I'm just cautiously playing it most of the time and here lead for me 3 one, uh, 2 1 so here I, now I give him the chance to to attack and he's taking it yeah look I push this ball it's horrible I should attack it and then he attacked so yeah now this one also next one and then he attacks that's just the story of this game. Pushing, pushing. Oh, finally I attack. <laughs> and it gives the point. So you see, that that's just the right thing to do. It's as, as easy as that. Yeah, so it's now the decider. Finally, I start attacking more. And then balls like this, high push. again finally I attack yeah this I should flip usually I flip those maybe you can leave a comment how you overcome these issues in match especially today I was in a situation two times playing people that I'm supposed to win against and yeah that pressure was always on my shoulder and yeah at the end I got the better of him and um, I told him man we can play much better than this both of us we could have had a, a way better nicer game but yeah it is what it is play against Nevin here and I really wanted to be more loose now and let's see how that went he started pretty well surprised me to be honest look he's pretty good timing his forehand okay he, he struggled with my serves and yeah, the, the movement looks already better. Timing and movement looks a bit better. Played pretty well. And um, once I noticed that he had trouble with my side topspin serves, uh, he just didn't know how to receive him. I stopped doing them, I think, uh, altogether because I wanted to have match practice and um, 
not just having two secure points every time I have service. And um, I think I I rather tell him after the game how to receive him, which I did, but then have a better game and more practice for me and him, than to just yeah win this super super easy by just serving, you know. And yeah, I I felt much better now, and this was a good practice to apply my game, my usual game, which is aggressive and always attacking. And yeah, it went way, way, way better. As you can see, started feeling really good. And also here, you see, it's really now a chain. The foreign topspin is a chain, starting with the legs, Ending with the stroke. Yeah. Not super stiff anymore. Yeah, and this too. I mean, finally, I do things like this in game and not just in practice. Yeah, so this, this match was over. No, this was actually like two hours later. This is the second game already. And also against Nicole, I'm not supposed to lose. So felt very similar than in the first match with Andreas. Also, I cooled down and then had to warm up again, which didn't make things easier for me. And yeah, I really, really tried to not make the same mistakes that I did against Andreas and played too cautious. And also, I must say, as you can see, she, she's doing well. So she's attacking me, my weaknesses if I if I just play too cautious, she was attacking me. And also I had a ton of uh, um, receive mistakes against her. She she does she doesn't doesn't do very hard serves, like hard to get serves, as you can see. Little bit of backspin, not even fast, but yeah, 1816, epic, epic first uh, nerve-wracking set there. But yeah, still I as you can see here, still I do many, many, many uh, easy receive mistakes yeah, which really affected me get, got on my nerves I was pissed that I did so many easy mistakes <coughs> and she's, she's good at putting the pressure if you give her the chance yeah and then if I go for it, I, I also here you saw the last backhand and forehand, not really good movement, too stiff. Managed to go into the lead, 2-0, third set. I went into the third set again with the goal of, hey, just, just do your normal game. And you see the first three fail. First three attempts on that fail, so that leads into being more cautious again. It shouldn't, but... Actually, if you look at it, I, I still attack. So I shouldn't be too hard with myself. I came back from her leading here pretty high. But yeah, as you can see, the forehand topspin, I, I hit the air ball. And it's not happening that much in training. Happened a lot over the last two days here. Way too much. Yeah, it's 2-2. Again here, it's 2-2 body stiffness in general afraid to miss so you miss <laughs> it's kind of crazy but that's what it is yeah so managed to win this one and then I played against her son I think it's really cool that in this uh, summer team cup you can put everyone in your team it's, it's really nice and obviously I wanted to give him a nice game and give him the opportunity to get some match practice. I think he went away way too like unforced. There, there was no reason for him to, to go away from the table. But he did all the time. And he's small, he shouldn't he shouldn't do that. It's super hard for him to reach the ball if you play angles. I told him this after the game. Also he didn't take his time when serving. These were the two main mistakes he did. Nice one here. You can see he can play close to the table and, and attack. So he should do that. He should focus on that. I hope it was fun for him. This this match.
that's what this series is there for also you know to have fun and match practice as always guys thanks for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel to not miss future episodes we will have three more games in this stc series and hopefully can make it to the final the next game will be the most important one i am 6-0 so far we are discussing if i play on spot one let's see how we decide see you soon